Hey guys, it's Sarab from SRN and today we're going to be unboxing the PlayStation TV. For those of you looking to purchase the PlayStation TV, know that it comes in two models and it's officially available starting today. Now you can either get the model for $99, which is what I have right over here, or there's another edition which is for $139, and in it you also get the DualShock 3 controller, which is compatible with PS3 games, an 8GB uh, memory card, as well as uh, the LEGO game uh, video, or the LEGO movie video game with it. And so there's that bundle that you guys can go with as well. Now in today's video I'm just going to show you guys what's inside the box but I'm going to do a more in-depth video uh, shortly that's going to actually cover what you guys can do with the PlayStation TV. And so currently the PlayStation TV is available in black though I believe there is either a limited edition for white or maybe that was the Japan only model. And just like the PS3 and PS4, Sony does really consider almost a separate console. So you guys do get its own little serial number and all that fun stuff that comes with it. And the size of the unit itself overall is fairly sleek and should really be compared to like an Apple TV or maybe a Roku unit. But unlike the Apple TV or unlike the PS3 or PS4, which has had the power brick uh, built inside of it, this guy does have the AC adapter and the power brick outside of it. So keep in mind there is a little bit of extra cables that go on the outside. And Sony has also included an HDMI cable, which is what it requires. So there is no component out on this unit. And then besides your traditional uh, literature that's gonna come with it, like your warranty and instruction guides, which is in there, we have buried at the very bottom tucked away nicely too, we have the PlayStation TV itself. Again, as you guys can tell, it has a very, very slim uh, profile right on over here. You have the PlayStation logo right there. And what you guys are gonna find on the back itself is where the memory card go would go. So this is either where you would put in PS Vita games or the PS Vita memory card, so that goes in there. You have your USB port right on over here, as well as HDMI out, and your Ethernet. Now this guy runs either on Ethernet or Wi-Fi 802.11 uh, dot, or 82.11n, so you guys can either use your Wi-Fi, though in a lot of instances like this, I would recommend using Ethernet if you guys can do it. And beyond that, everything else is fairly simple, so you guys can either sync your DualShock 3 with this, or sync your DualShock 4 and stream games from the PS4 and select games from PS3 and this will also have access to PlayStation Now as well. So that was just a quick unboxing for you guys about the PlayStation TV. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below as before I conduct our other video, I'm gonna be going over and just being able to answer your questions and remember that you guys can find us on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, uh, all those fun places, Twitter, at slash Sony Rumors. So again, thanks for watching and be on the lookout for our next PlayStation TV video.